winter storm warning in effect for heavy snow. Those planning travel in the warned area should be prepared for hazardous conditions and plan accordingly. So, if you're new to using an axe, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, there's two ways to hold it. You can hold it in self belay grip, which is the most common, which is with your palm on top of the edge. So, that allows you to plunge it into the snow and have something to push on. The other grip is called the self-arrest grip, and that's with your thumb underneath the ads and your hand over the top. That doesn't give you as much to push on, but if you're concerned about falling, if it's pretty slippery, that's not a bad way to hold it because you can get into self-arrest position really quickly with that hold. Axe always goes in the uphill hand, and you want to move the axe when you're in a position of balance, and that is just like I'm standing right here with my downhill leg straight, uphill leg bent. So when you're walking with an axe, axe gets moved first, you're in a position of balance, three, three points, really stable. First step, second one, and then I'll move the axe, okay? And you repeat that pattern all the way up. When you get to a corner, there's a certain sequence that makes it really smooth and clean. And that is, once you take your second step, move the axe, get into a duck foot position. Now I match my hands on the ax so I never let go of it. Turn it into the new direction, plan it, and I'm off again. So once again, duck foot, match hands, twist the ax in the new direction. When you're zigzagging up a steep slope or traversing it, um, the ax always goes in the uphill hand. But if you're booting straight up, if it's soft enough that you can get good footholds and you can boot straight up it, then it doesn't matter which hand you put the ax in. In snow this soft, I'd use the belay grip and that's what gives me my security because I can plunge that in. If I fall, I can hang on to that. If this snow were a lot harder, where I couldn't penetrate the, the spike in the snow, then I would keep the same grip but use the pick. And that way, so if you're booting up a street, steep couloir, it gives you great security that way. And you may switch back and forth depending on what the snow is doing. You find a soft spot, you can plunge it in. If it's hard like this and can't get through, then use the pick. So both those are still with the, the self-belay grip.